Hey again, it's Tyler Miller with the Tyler Miller team at eXp Realty. And today I have three tips for you buyers out there wondering how the heck am I going to win in the multiple offer market that we're currently in today? All right. Tip number one is to be upfront and open with your real estate agent so that we know what we're working with. For example, if you have a home to sell and you want to go buy a house, there's a totally different game plan that goes into winning in multiple offers than if you were just a first time home buyer with a, a rent lease that was expiring. There's so much unpacking that we have to do up front to know exactly what options we have to give you that perfect game plan to go and compete in multiple offers. Tip number two is to just understand the market and trust that process that you and your agent laid out at the, at the very beginning. So understanding really what's happening with the accepted offers in the market is going to really do you a big favor when you go to write your offers. So for example, at the time of this video, right, right now with any accepted offers in the state of Minnesota, on average, looking at my notes here, there's 28% of the accepted offers waived the inspection. 10% of those offers were cash. Um, let's see, contingent on the sale of a buyer's home only 15% of the time. So if you're a buyer that has a home to sell, needs a loan, and doesn't want to waive their inspection, just know that that's totally possible, but we need to know that up front so we can really game plan the type of properties we want to show you to that make sure that we can compete in that situation. Tip number three, did you know that residential real estate is actually incredibly emotional? Because it's not just a simple math equation, okay? When you go to sell your house, you have done so much to that property, you've owned it for X amount of years, you know that you want to give it to the right person. It may not just be about the money. It could be about whatever you want it to be about. And that brings in all those emotions. And so you as a buyer need to understand that it's your job to make sure you're tugging on those heartstrings a little bit, to make yourself the obvious choice for that seller, even if you don't have the best price or the best terms, which happens all the time, by the way. So make sure that you're willing to write that letter to the seller telling them about your family and that your daughter wants to be in this school district or you've, you've been around this neighborhood forever and you can't imagine living anywhere else. Um, if we can figure out that they have pets, you wanna send a photo of your pet. You know, some buyers even send video messages to the other agent so that they pass it on to their seller so they, they can even, they can feel your emotion. The emotion really, really works in this situation and in this industry. And so you have to embrace that and be willing to go down a limb and really show the seller how badly you want the house. And then that is going to give you the opportunity to win. All right, so there you have it. You have the three big tips that I have to get you to win in multiple offers. But you may be sitting here thinking, well, Tyler, you know, I can't waive an inspection or I have a house to sell that, you know, I can't buy non-contingent. So I probably can't compete in this multiple offer environment. And all I have to say to you is that if you're not going to have the best offer, you got to have the best agent to win. And that's where me and my team come in we get people's offers accepted all the time when they're not the best price or the best terms because it all comes down to having that perfect game plan and that strategy that you start at the very beginning with me and my team. So if you are going to be moving this year, if you're going to be buying a house and you're just wondering how it all works, you're a little nervous about the multiple offer environment, have no fear. Our team has your back. We do this all the time. And I would love to talk to you more about how you can get your offer accepted in this multiple offer environment. Reach out anytime. Have a wonderful day and we'll see you in the next video.